Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Chrome OS video. Now, working with the Chrome OS, I also put this on my blog, jackstechcorner.com, uh, this morning. And I was talking about day two, which would have been yesterday. Today is officially day three of using the Chrome OS. And I installed the um, Microsoft Office. And I was really impressed the other day, and I think I blogged about this the other day, was I told my partner how cool it was that we can now, using the uh, Google Play Store, we can load the Android version of Microsoft Office. And I thought, wow, this is a game changer. But let me tell you, it was, uh, to say the very least, uh, a, a major letdown. I mean, I think overall, so let's just start off here. On the right, on the right side of the screen right here, with this small toolbar. This is the Android version of Microsoft Office uh, Word application. On the, get there is that. On the left here is Microsoft Office 365 Word Online. And that's what I would normally use when I'm using a Chromebook. But I was looking and playing around and I thought, man, if, if we can load this up, the desktop version of Office, it would be great. Don't get over thrilled with the Android version of Microsoft Word. Uh, it's just not what you would think it would be. If you start just really even with the toolbar on the top, it's a very minimal set of tools. Uh, we can, I think we can close this. I don't even know what that's for. Oop. All right, so it does close up. but So it's a very minimal set of tools. We could do stuff like highlight a word. We can actually, uh, you know, increase the font size. So you can do some stuff with it. Uh, as a last-ditch effort, uh, and I am planning on taking this out of the house today, the Chromebook itself, and attempting to use it on the road. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm going to take it uh, out to like a coffee shop and see if I can uh, use it and, and what applications I can use with it. But for that, I think this would be fine because you can do local work with it. Obviously, with Office 365 Online, you're going to have to have an internet connection to use that with any device. But if I was going to do any real-world work and I had an internet connection, I would definitely use the Office 365 Online. Uh, because if we look at that, we have so much more. Look, if I look on Insert over here, uh, there's blank page, table, picture, shapes, box. There's, there's a few basic items. But look at the office online. We can do symbols, uh, emojis. Boy, that's important. Page numbers, headers, and footers. Uh, it even has office add-ons. Uh, there's page layout over here. Uh, review, so we can review. We can comment on different stuff. We can accept stuff uh, over here. Let's see, review. I guess you can accept and stuff. So, again, my personal belief is Microsoft Word for the Android was built very much uh, for the tablet experience. And I hope some of these applications, I hope they start revamping them and knowing that they're being installed on something like a Chromebook and make them more uh, laptop friendly, I guess I could say. But uh, so in a pinch, it would be fine. The Android version here on the right, but I prefer on the left, uh, anytime I actually loaded uh, Windows or Microsoft uh, Word online, the online version, and I actually pinned it to my start menu down here so I have it available. Or pin it to the, uh, what do they call that? Pin it to the shelf, I'm sorry, and made it available. So just a quick overview. I uh, hope these videos are helping you. Also, again, follow along on the blog, and that is at jackstechcorner.com. Uh, you can follow along, get my daily updates, um, and uh, my overall feelings of, you know, using the Chromebook as my only device for one week. So. So far, I think there's some great applications, and we'll talk more about those later. But uh, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. And as always, hit that or crush that thumbs up button and get these videos uh, lifted up in the ratings. Till next time, I will talk to you soon. I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.